Let your spirit grow wings and fly And fly with me And fly with me Hi out there in the YouTube. So in this video I'm going to go over a review of the Nano Leaf Aurora. Don't you just love the name? Say it with me. Aurora. 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 It's like the Aurora Borealis. The Aurora. Don't y'all remember that from like Sleeping Beauty and such? Aurora. But, so yes, I got this pack and it's got 15 panels. And it came with this little device over here, which is like, well, you can't really see it. Well, it's a little thing that clips on to the side of one of these panels. But it's like right here. So you can't see it. But, eh. There. So you can see it now. There is, there is the, that is what's making it respond to my voice. So. Which I will admit, if you have music on, which I'll just play like two seconds of, it's actually really cool. I have it set on like a certain mode where it's mainly blue, but there's many different modes with many different other colors. And I kind of wanted to, you know, this is the pattern design that I chose. The, the, the manual, you know, getting smarter or whatever. Welcome to a smarter life. Um, with interior lighting response to your voice or music which I just thought that was so cool but yes it comes with design inspirations none of the none of the designs that were shown in the pamphlet are this design that I have behind me and I, I will also let you know that like the colors that I'm seeing when I look at it are not the same or as vibrant so the camera isn't really doing it justice, is what I will say. But yeah, you can have these lights in like so many different arrangements. And this is an arrangement that I chose because I thought it would make a good backdrop for like my YouTube videos. And yeah, I think it actually fits pretty perfectly. Um, I will admit that I have three other lights that are normal lights because if I just had no norm like just these as the backdrop, you wouldn't really see me, or it would look like you know, in a club where I'm just like got like backlighting on. I'll demonstrate. That, it does make a cool backdrop still, but you can't really see me, so I'm going to turn the lights back on. Yeah, so I'm back. So, as you can see, the lights, they have, they do, the, even though the camera doesn't do it justice here, you can see that the correlation to the sound is quite accurate, and the app has some pretty cool modes, I will admit. So I got my nano leaf mode, and like right now I actually have the background on a transition. I'll just go out of that though. So, for example, I'll put it on color burst. So this is going to go through, and I have it at maximum brightness right now. Well, it just went to maximum brightness when I picked this setting. I had this turned down because it's so bright that even with three lights shining on me from the other direction it's still overpowering so I turned it down which you can do in these settings see that little light bar and through the Wi-Fi or whatever or Bluetooth 
um, you can turn it on or off. See, I just turned it off. Bam! See, now it's off. I'm going to turn it back on. Hit the, see? Fairly simplistic. Right? And now it's back on. So, with color burst. And it'll go on to whatever preset mode you had it on or whatever mode you had set with your phone or via the button um, but when, you, when it comes back on it will go on to whatever mode it was previously set on so there's color burst which is you're seeing now and this is flames it's like a yellow yellow, orange, red, brown spectrum. It's nice. They're very vibrant, and the, and the camera really here doesn't do it justice. Forest is like greens and... Well, it's showing up as blue on the camera, but like it's really more of like a teal or like a green. Like this darker green is kind of, you know, what represents the whole, but they're in different shades. Um, it's very cool though, I really enjoy it. All the different modes that it has, um, you can set them at different uh, rates. Like if you actually hold on the icon, little secret for some of you, maybe I'll put that in the thing, because I, I didn't see this in the manual, but if you hold on whatever mode it's on, it'll bring up this green bar and you hit edit, and then here, See, there's like a little bunny and a little turtle. You can change the speed at which it transitions and you can also adjust the brightness. And you can adjust the sine wave of how it's going to transition. I usually have it set on, uh, on smooth, but it appears to actually be set on rapid transition. Because that the sine wave represents like the transition of the light from one spectrum to the other. Um, overall, I very much enjoy this product. Uh, for example, see, I just turned the light down, and like that actually makes it a little more visible. Otherwise, it's kind of overexposed to the camera. So, in most of my videos that I have on my channel, I will have the lighting for that actually turned quite a bit down, like. That is like, if you look at the light bar, I've got it at like about 50%. And that actually, having it turned down 50% and enables the camera to see it the clearest. Otherwise it would be like overexposed. And then the turtle and the hair adjusts the speed. So I'll turn it actually to a maximum change. Now see, I don't like that. And when you actually first do it, it will give you a warning about seizures. Um, so, eh. I don't really like how quickly it transitions through the colors. I want a more gradual transition. That's actually what I like about this product and find most enjoyable about it is I find, I find it therapeutic watching the transitions. And just as ambient lighting, it can really set a mood. And there's so many different modes to choose from that you can pick what mood you want. And if you want it to correlate to your music, you can even set it on that mode. You know? So, I just think it's awesome, basically. So, um, I have experienced some problems, I will admit, with the connection. Like, uh, we went away for a couple days, and when we returned home, it wouldn't connect. And I had to look in the manual, and you basically just do a factory re a reset. You hit the two main power button, like the power button, and the, uh, I guess you could say option button, because it scrolls through all the options. If you didn't want to use your phone to use the app, it will scroll through all of the main um, settings for the light modes. And you just hold the buttons, and it resets itself. You have to unplug it and do a reset. And then it worked. I only had that happen one time, and I've had the product for like these lights for over a month now, so, or about a month. So, yeah, overall I really like them, and let me know your feedback if you think they're cool as a backdrop. 
Uh, normally I won't use them so like zoomed out like this. It would be more, I don't know, something like this. Just providing like ambient light and I find that the camera is able to focus more on me and, and the light on me. Um, making more of a crisp image, but I just zoomed out for the most of the video because I want to show you um, the lights that I got. So give me a thumbs up and mwah, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. <laughs> Bye for now. Let your spirit grow wings and fly and fly with me and fly with me